Hello everybody, today we are going to solve problems in chapter 13, Analytic Geometry, page 153. Please follow me while I am reading and solving these problems on your books, page 153. We start by problem 6, page 153. First, in a system of axes x prime or x, y prime or y, consider the points a of coordinates 4, 2, and E of coordinates 0, 5. In part A, plot the points A and E, and show that E belongs to the perpendicular bisector of the segment OA. First, this is a graph showing the points O and E. Now we want to prove that E is on the perpendicular bisector of OA. To prove that E belongs to the perpendicular bisector of the segment OA, this means that E is equidistant from both O and A. So we can calculate the distance OE using the formula radical XE minus XO square plus YE minus YO square it will be 5 centimeters. Also, if we calculate the distance EA using the formula radical XE minus XA all of its squared plus YE minus YA all of its squared, the answer will be also 5 centimeters. So EA equal to EO equal to 5 centimeters. This indicates that E is equidistant from both A and O. So E is on the perpendicular bisector of AO. In part B, determine the slope of the line OA. Only the slope of the line OA. The slope of line OA using the formula YA minus YO over XA minus XO, it will be half. Also, uh, if, we, if we are asked to, uh, to find the equation of the line AO, it's so easy. Since it's a line passing through the origin, the equation will be y equal ax. So the equation of the line OA will be y equal half x. We are not asked to find this equation. But in case we need this equation, it's so easy. Y equal to half x. Now in part C. In part C, determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector U of the segment OA. We know that U is the perpendicular bisector of the segment OA. First, U is perpendicular to OA. This indicates that slope of OA times the slope of U equals to minus 1. The slope of OA, we calculated it in part B, it's half. So the slope of U will be minus 2. Now we need a point on U. In part A, we proved that E belongs to U. This indicates that <coughs> using the formula y minus ye equal to the slope of u into x minus xe. So the equation of u will be equal y equal minus 2x plus 5. Now in part d, calculate the coordinates of the point f the point of intersection of the line U and the x-axis. First, first we have f belongs to x prime x, so y of f equals to zero. Also using the equation of u, since f belongs to u, y f equal to minus 2xf plus 5, Solving the equation to find xf, we obtain xf equals to 5 over 2, and thus f of coordinates 0, 5 over 2, 0. 
Now determine the equation part E. Determine the equation of V. Now for part E. Determine the equation of V, the perpendicular through A to OA, and calculate the coordinates of M and N, the points of intersection of V with X axis and Y axis respectively. So M is the intersection of V with X axis and N is the intersection of V with Y axis. But first we need to find the equation of V. Since V is perpendicular to OA at A, so slope of V times the slope of OA equals to minus 1 slope of OA is already calculated in part B which is equal to half so slope of V should be minus 2 now using the point slope equation since we have the point A belongs to V we have Y minus YA equals slope of V to X minus XA substituting the coordinates of A and the slope of V the equation will be Y equal minus 2x plus 10 now m is the intersection of v with x prime x so y of m should be 0 and using the fact that m belongs to v so we have y m equal to minus 2x m plus 5 and thus x m equals to 5 if we solve this equation for x m so m of coordinates 5 0 now n is the intersection of the point v with y prime y so xn equals to zero and since n belongs to v substituting instead of xn zero yn should be 10 so n of coordinates 0 10 instead of part f in our book we are going to solve this part K is the symmetric of E with respect to M. Find the coordinates of E. I want to remind you here about a very important note. With respect to M means M is the midpoint. The letter or the point that comes after with respect, it's the midpoint of the segment. So using the rule of the midpoint, that M is the midpoint of the segment KE. So, XM equal to XE plus XK over 2, substituting XM equal to 5 and XE equal to 0, cross multiplication XK equal 10. Similarly, YM equal to YE plus YK over 2, substituting YM equal to 0 plus equals, sorry, 0 equals to 5 plus YK over 2, so YK should be minus 5 after cross multiplication. So K of coordinates 10 minus 5. Now for problem 7. In part A, determine the coordinates of the points A, B, and C plotted in the system of axes shown below and reproduce the diagram. I will help you in finding the coordinates and you are responsible about graphing, uh, graphing these points and the lines also the given in the coming parts. First, we have A of coordinates minus 3, 1. B of coordinates 5, 7, and C of coordinates 4, 0. In part B, calculate the lengths AB, AC, BC, then deduce the nature of triangle BAC. AB using the formula XB minus XA square plus YB minus YA square, it will be 10 centimeters. Also, AC using the formula AC equal to radical XC minus XA square plus YC minus YA square, it will be 5 radical 2 centimeters. A very important rule here that we should simplify the square root. We can't keep it radical 50. We should write it 5 radical 2. 
Moreover, BC equal to radical XC minus XB square plus YC minus YB square. It will be also to 5 radical equals to 5 radical 2 centimeters. Till now, we have BC equal to AC, so triangle ABC is isosceles. Till now, it's isosceles triangle. But we want to check whether ABC is right or not. By using the converse of Pythagoras theorem, AB square, checking if it's equal to AC square plus BC square, finally 100 equal to 100. So triangle ABC is right at the common point C by the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Furthermore, we have AC equals to BC equal to 5 radical 2, it's all radical collated. So triangle ABC is right isosceles of main vertex C. Now in part C. Determine the coordinates of the center S of the circle circumscribed about the triangle BAC and calculate its radius. Circle circumscribed about the triangle ABC. This, uh, it means that the circle contains the three vertices of this triangle, the point A, B, and C. But this triangle is right, so S, the center of the circle, is the midpoint of the hypotenuse AB. Using the rule of the midpoint, XS equal to XA plus XB over 2, which is equals to 1. YS equals to YA plus YB over 2, which is equals to 4. So S of coordinates 1, 4. Now for the radius. We have two methods to calculate the radius. First method, the radius equals to the length of BS. Or to the length of SA, since the hypotenuse AB. And S is the midpoint of AB. Using the formula SB equal to radical XB minus XS all of its squared plus YB minus YS all of its squared, the answer will be 5 centimeters. Or a direct method that the radius is half AB since AB is the hypotenuse and it's the diameter. Equal 10 over 2 equal 5 centimeters. This is the second method to calculate the value of the radius. Now in part D. Let U be the tangent to the circle C at the point C. Prove that U is parallel to AB, but here we need a geometric method. Geometric method using the properties of the tangent of the perpendicular, not the properties of the slopes and lines in an orthonormal system. The geometric method is here. Geometric method. We have U is perpendicular to the radius SC. SC is a radius. So U is perpendicular to SC since U is tangent to C at the point C. Also, CS is a height. Since S is the midpoint of the hypotenuse, so it's 4 and 1. So CS also perpendicular to AB. So CS is perpendicular to both U and AB. So we have U and AB are perpendicular to the same line. So U parallel to AB. We can prove it using analytic geometry using slopes and lines. U is tangent to the circle C at the point C. Therefore, U is perpendicular to SC. So the product of their slopes equals to minus 1. We can calculate the slope of SC, YC minus Y, S over XC minus XS. It will be minus 4 over 3. Since U is perpendicular to SC, we have the slope of SC times slope of U equals to minus 1. 
So slope of u should be the opposite reciprocal of minus 4 over 3, which is 3 over 4. However, we can calculate the slope of AB. Slope of AB, which is equals to, sorry, here we have this slope equals 3 over 4. 6 over 8, if we simplify it, it will be 3 over 4. Here, we can calculate the slope of BA, which is YB minus YA over XB minus XA. The answer will be 3 over 4. Therefore, slope of u equals to slope of ab equals to 4 over 3 and thus u parallel to ab. Now in part e, determine the equation of the line u. Using the first method, u is of slope 3 over 4. And since c belongs to u, using the point slope equation, y minus yc equals slope of u into x minus xc. So the equation of u, y equal 3 over 4 x minus 3. Part f determine the equation of p, the point of intersection of u with the y axis. Intersection with y axis means x p equal to 0 using the fact that p belongs to u. So y p equals to minus 3. So p of coordinates 0 minus 3. Now in part g. What is the nature of quadrilateral ASCP? It's a square. First, if we calculate CP. CP equals to radical XP minus XC square plus YP minus YC square equals to 5 centimeters. So, so, we have CP first is parallel to AS since U is parallel to AB. Also, we have AS equals to CP equals to 5 centimeters. Till now, it's a part. But we have angle ASC equals to 90 degree 4 and 1 in the isosceles triangle ABC. Also, by median relative to hypotenuse, we have CS equals to AB over 2, which is equal to AS. So, we have here two adjacent equal sides, so 90 degree plus parm plus two adjacent equal sides, it's a parm. Review this problem as well, guys. Hello, everybody. Today we are going to solve problem 9, page 154, and chapter 13, analytic geometry. It's a very important problem. Please follow me on your books while I am reading and solving this problem. In a system of axes x prime or x and y prime or y, consider the points a of coordinates minus 4 minus 1, b 5 2, s 4 minus 5, and c minus 1 0. Part a plot the points a, b, s, and c. In part a, we are going only to plot the points a, b, s, and c. Note that here I completed this diagram or this figure which will, will be completed in the remaining parts and part b determine the equation of the straight line ab ab we, we want if we want to find the equation of ab we want to find first the slope and then we use the point slope equation Slope of AB, it's YB minus YA over XB minus XA. Substituting YB, YA, XB, XA, the slope will be 1 over 3. Using the point slope equation, AB of equation Y minus YA equals slope of AB 
into x minus x a it will be y plus 1 equal 1 over 3 into x plus 4 so the equation of a b if we move numbers to the right side and expanding the right side will be y equal 1 over 3 x plus 1 over 3 also in this part we want to check whether c belongs to a b or not here we want to substitute the coordinates of C in the equation of AB checking I mean the answer will be 0 equal to 0 and thus C belongs to the straight line AB for part C draw the line of equation Y equal minus 3x plus 7 to draw this line we need two points this is a table for x equal to 0 we have Y equal 7 for x equal to 1 we have y equal 4 and this is the straight line D on the graph in part D we want to, ch to, to show that S belongs to D here we want to substitute the coordinates of S in the equation of D y s equal minus 3 x s plus 7 so we have minus 5 equal to minus 5 and thus s belongs to d before part e we will have an extra part calculate the coordinates of s of h the intersection point of d and a b using the comparison y equal to y comparison method y equal to y 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3 equal minus 3x plus 7 moving x to the left side and numbers to the right side we have x equals 2 if we substitute x equal 2 in the equation of d we have y equals to 1 and thus h of coordinates to 1 now in part e show that sh and is an attitude of triangle sab here we have two methods first to prove sh is a height and triangle sab we should prove sh is perpendicular to ab slope of sh it's minus 3 if we multiply it slope of sh times the slope of ab it will be minus 1 or if we look on the graph if we look on the graph SH and AB SH is the same as the line D and AB already we have their slopes so we can multiply directly 3 times minus 3 without any calculation so we can write slope of SH it's the same as the slope of D and slope of B it's already already we know it from part B and thus they are perpendicular now in part F in part F we want to calculate the length of SH and AB using the formula SH equal to radical X H minus X S square plus y h minus y s square it will be 2 radical 10 centimeters a b it's radical x b minus x a square plus y b minus y a square it will be 3 radical 10 centimeters in part g find the area of triangle s a b using the formula area of triangle it's base times height over 2 it's sh times ab over 2 if we multiply and simplify radicals here the answer will be 30 centimeters square now in part h calculate the coordinates of k the center of the circle c of diameter bs it's of diameter bs so k the center will be the midpoint of bs Using the midpoint formula, xk, it's xb plus xs over 2, it will be 9 over 2. yk, it's yb plus ys over 2, it's minus 3 over 2. So k will be of coordinates 9 over 2 minus 3 over 2. 
part I show that H belongs to the circle C. Here we can solve in two different methods. The first one is since we have a triangle SHB is right and K is the midpoint of the diameter BS by median relative to hypotenuse we have HK it's BS over 2 which is equal to the radius. Also we can calculate the length of HK we can calculate HK or we can calculate HK using the formula radical XK minus XH square and so on it will be the same as the radius but to use this formula guys first we should calculate the radius of the circle the radius is BS over 2 also we should calculate BS we can use the method of analytic geometry or we can use median relative to hypotenuse and equals to its half now for part J part J it will be a homework for you it's an application on similar triangles and using areas in part J the circle C intersects AS in S and intersects sorry AS in M show that AB times MS equal to BM times HS. Please try to solve it as a homework for you.